This is a lap dog. <laughs> At least she thinks she is. She is such a sweetie. This is Ruby with Katie from the Humane Society. A Doberman, obviously. Yes, a red Doberman. A red Doberman was kind of unique. Yes. Very. So, how did we get her? So, she came to the Houston Humane Society through a cruelty seizure um, out of Polk County. Mm -hmm. Some time ago? Yeah, yeah, it was back in June. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she's yeah. such a sweet disposition. She is. She is. She's a big cuddle bug. I think she thinks she's smaller than she is, but I, that's okay. <laughs> it works out. <laughs> we, I came over to, to, to say hello, and she just came over and almost jumped in my lap to begin <laughs> with. And then I found her little sweet spot. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, yeah. oh that's it. Oh. She didn't get adopted yesterday. This is another chance for her. Yeah. You had a, a good day yesterday, though, yes. as far as it's clear the shelters. Yeah, we had 66 animals adopted, wow. which is 14 more than last year. Our goal was 70, so we were right there. Okay. Close, yeah. close, close. Yeah. And uh, Missy we had on this past uh, week yeah. was on on Friday. Yeah. And there she, she is. was... Uh, That's her, I'm adopted face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is good, too. Yeah. Good to, so now, if you're going to be taking a dog home, like Ruby, uh, today, right, sweetie? You ready to go? There's some things we need to know. And so let's give us some tips on what we can do to get these dogs acclimated to their new environment. Yeah, it's just, I mean, my biggest point is just patience. So if you talk to a lot of people when you adopt shelter animals sometimes it takes weeks or months for dogs to get truly acclimated and for you to see their personality really come out mm -hmm. so patience is key uh, you know give them a spot in your home that's theirs give them some bedding and a crate you know their own spot and then um, give them time to decompress with your family. So don't start bringing around, you know, friends and strangers quite yet. Give them time to get used to you, um, the adults, especially the kids in your family, um, the animals. You know, you don't have to introduce them right away. You can give them some time to get used to each other. Um, and then get them started on a, I thank you, get them started on a schedule so they know what the expectation is for going outside, for eating, all of that stuff. I'm sorry. She's, she's given the eyes. I know. She said, come on, take me. Take me. <laughs> it, it is true because in their environment, they've gone through a lot. Right. A lot of noise, a lot mm -hmm. of things have been this move from wherever they were. We don't, right. A lot of times we don't know what they were doing before. Right. So now their new space is your home. Right. And it's really important to let them feel safe. Right. There. Yeah, it can be overwhelming. A big house from a shelter kennel, it's a yeah. big difference. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, those, are, those tips will be very helpful. Yes. Ruby, you want this cookie? Oh, she's looking at Sophia. Got her eyes on you, Sophia. Here you go, sweetheart. There you go. There oh, yeah. you go. There you go. All right, so Ruby's available for you today <laughs> at the Humane Society. She's got good table manners, as you just saw. <laughs> Open from 11 to 530, 14700 Almeda Road in southwest Houston. Clear the shelters was yesterday, but you can come clear them today as well. Mm -hmm. We have other animals in need of a family as well on our Adopt a Pet section on clicktohouston.com. They're so cute. <laughs> Go there and get, uh, get pick up Ruby today. She's yeah. ready to go home and be your lap dog. <laughs> Katie, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for having us. Sophia. Thanks, guys. Such a beauty.